I uh, just wanted to do this quick video and uh, share with you uh, how really easy it is to clean your digital sensor on your digital SLR. Uh, some of the materials that you will need, or at least one of the methods, there are several methods out there, but this is the method uh, that I prefer, and I think I read this up over on uh, Copper Hill Images. Uh, they sell, uh, sell this material there, but I buy it at my local camera store. Um, I buy the uh, four inch by four inch PEC pads. They're non-abrasive, lint-free. I've gone through about half of this pack. Uh, I use these tweezers uh, from Exacto to actually extract the uh, PEC pads out. Um, and then I uh, talked about or reviewed uh, Copper Hill's uh, wand here and they actually sent me a free one. Uh, this is a uh, 14 millimeter uh, sensor swipe wand and it's what you wrap the PEC pad Peck pad around so that you can insert it into your camera to clean the sensor. Uh, and then this is the Eclipse fluid. Um, this is methanol, basically just methanol, but you do want to uh, be sure that you buy the correct Eclipse fluid for your sensor filter. Uh, otherwise you might damage the filter on your sensor. So typically what I do uh, uh, about every four weeks. It just depends on how frequent I change my lens and I see dust. When I fire up macro more in the uh, spring and summertime I see more of the dust specks till they get to a point where it's cumbersome to clone them out. I do it about once a month during the summer. Uh, typically what I do is I set up this uh, vacuum here so it always pulls. Uh, it's got a negative pressure over the uh, cavity of the camera so the dust will not uh, fall into the cameras as easily uh, while I'm cleaning the camera. Uh, I'm working on my second second uh, second glass of whiskey on the on the rocks and it helps calm me down. Uh, I think I have a tad touch of ADHD personally. Uh, yeah seriously uh, you know without anything to calm me down I'm in there and you know uh, I might pull out a uh, mirror if I'm not careful. Uh, so, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the uh, sensor wand with the old PEC pad on there. And I usually reuse it. Uh, so I'll have it staged just like this. <clears throat> the reason I use the uh, old one is uh, I can put some Eclipse on it. Kind of go a little heavy on the Eclipse, maybe three drops, two to three drops and really get that uh, dust off and then the next round will be a clean um, with just uh, one drop of Eclipse and then I'll go do a test shot. So for one prerequisite um, for cleaning the sensor make sure you have a fully charged battery because you don't want the battery to die while the mirror is locked up for cleaning and the uh, shutter is open. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lens place the camera cap on so I don't have to worry about it and I can get it ready here for cleaning. <clears throat> Put the lens cap on the back of the lens. This is the 100 millimeter macro from Canon. And I'm ready. Now essentially what we're going to do, uh, I will simulate here so it's easy to see. Let's say this is the uh, sensor filter. What you're going to do is this uh, uh, sensor swipe is actually wedged wedged like this and this. Uh, you're going to insert all the way to this corner, upper left corner. You're going to press down and you're going to swipe and move up to this corner, lift, and then go to this corner and swipe like this and lift. And there's about a two to three millimeter overlap in the center. That's why this one here is 14 millimeter, right? 14 millimeter. So again, if you, I highly recommend buying the uh, sensor swipe from Copper Hill Images because uh, it's a soft tip. It's actually like a little spatula. Okay, step one, I'm going to put about three drops. That's about three. Insert it back into the plastic pouch there. Stand by, go to on, menu. <clears throat> Uh, sensor cleaning, go OK. That's when the mirror pops up and the shutter opens. We're ready to clean. I take this out of the plastic pouch. 
turn my turn my vacuum on of course first so you won't hear me from this point on Okay, that was the first pass. <clears throat> now we're going to remove the old swipe from the last cleaning and the cleaning that we just did. Okay, and here it is. You can see it's kind of wedged. Not sure if you can see that very well, but so this is a, a pliable material. I think it's a small cooking spatula, to be honest with you, but haven't found anything that would work and uh, they're relatively inexpensive. All right. Stand by some tape here. Going to extract a new peck pad. I recommend you washing your hands with a liquid dish soap to remove any uh, oils as much as possible. Now the peck pad has grain, okay? Grain is going this way, so do not fold it over the end like this. Rather, make the grain perpendicular or parallel to the stick up and down. So when you wrap it over, you're going to place it halfway, just about, and off to the left, maybe five millimeters. Then you're going to fold it over, straighten that out. Just realize that this area up here is what's going to touch your sensor, so keep your fingers away from that. And then I tuck a little bit, not much, don't need a lot of pressure. Fold this over, okay. Just like that. Okay. Pull here. I'll fold this over. Just like that. Make a little cross. Just wrap it around the upper portion of the plastic wand. And there you go. That's the part that will swipe. A little bit of tape. What I've used in the past too are mailing labels. They work very well. They're very convenient. I'm out of mailing labels. Okay, now we're ready to swipe. I'm going to stage this inside the plastic pouch and I'm ready for round two. So I'm going to turn it back on. Menu, sensor cleaning, okay. We're ready again. Just one or two drops now. That, that'll work slowly. So now we're ready to clean. Sensor sensor cleaning mode is on. Swipe is ready. I'm gonna turn the vacuum on. Okay, that pass is done. Now it's time to test. I set it to ISO 100, focus to infinity, manual focus, and uh, F, aperture priority at F18. Take a shot uh, at a blue sky, preferably a blue sky. If you don't have a nice clear blue sky, uh, a, a blue LCD screen will work, or even a, a bright um, uh, lit piece of paper uh, will work as well. So let's go do a test shot. <laughs> 